is Tim from Tim's Tiny Arcade, where today I'm going to be looking at Atari Flashback Classics for the Xbox One. This has 50 games on it. It has leaderboards. Uh, you can play multiplayer online. And uh, this came out about a year ago. Uh, they have a second one, Volume 2, with 50 more games on it. And I heard it, and they have a third one in the works. And it hasn't been released yet, but uh, I just wanted to do a video on this and uh, show you guys what it looks like. All right, here's a quick look at the front of the case of the Atari Flashback Volume 1. As you can see, it's got some uh, classic pictures on there. we got some Yars uh, Revenge, Centipede, Millipede. Uh, some great art on the front of this game. And like I said, it's got 50 games. Let me flip it over. And on the back, it just shows uh, a few pictures of a few of the games that's on there. And uh, like I said, it has some arcade games on there also. And uh, let's take a look uh, at the game itself. All right, so I got the game fired up. And on this page here, we have, uh, these are all the arcade games. So we got Black Widow, Centipede, um, Atari Force Liberator, Pong, Millipede, Lunar Lander, Space Duel, Tempest, and Warlords. And you can see on the left, it's kind of got the, it's got the arcade machine. Uh, and then you got leaderboards and multiplayer online down there at the bottom. And then as far as your uh, Atari 2600 uh, games on here, I'll just kind of scroll through them real quick. Let you look at those. Um, one thing that's pretty cool, uh, as you can see at the bottom where it says uh, manual, if I just hit on the X, you can choose the manual and just scroll through it all. And they have that on all the Atari 2600 games. Hit your B button, you go back. That's the first page with the Atari 2600 games. Here's your second page of games. And then your last page of games. All right, so we're gonna look at uh, Black Widow by Atari. So I just hit the A button to click on it. This is a twin stick shooting game. Um, it's got some uh, art on the side, on the left and right side of the screen, and then one or two player at the bottom. So you use the left analog stick to move and the right one to shoot. This is a game I really never played uh, when I was younger. It wasn't around here arcade wise. We had Robotron, but we didn't have this. And I love this game. This is a fun game. So you just got to shoot the bugs. Uh, pick up the money for your points. It's a wave-based game. There we go. Made wave one. And this gets really, really tough. Each wave uh, increases. The amount of bugs and how fast they're going. Let's see if I can finish this board here real quick. All right, and that's a look at Black Widow. All right, we'll look at a couple of the games on here. Um, let's look at Canyon Bomber real quick. Uh, as you can see, it pulls up like a, an Atari 2600 with the cartridge in there, and the, uh, the buttons at the bottom, you got Y, LB, LT. Um, you can change it to black and white. Um, got your difficulty switches and everything. So it's kind of neat that they added that. Um, like I said, um, you can always look at the manuals of these games. Quick look at that. And you just hit your B button and then you just hit your uh, A button to get back into the game. So let's try just a little bit of the Canyon Bomber. I'm the yellow uh, plane there. This is a time game, the, the one I'm playing I believe now with limited bullets. 
of bombs. The computer was always really hard to beat. This looks and sounds just like the original, just, you know, in high definition. I can never beat the computer in this. I, I used to play my brother a lot, and I could battle him and beat him, but never had much luck beating the computer. All right, uh, let's look at a game that's uh, actually a prototype. That is Save Mary. We can look at the manual real quick on it. It says, Save Mary was an Atari prototype game created in 1990, but was never released. Mary stands on the bottom of a quarry filling with water. You operate a crane at the top of the screen, retrieve the boxes using the crane, and drop them down to Mary to form a platform to her to climb. Once she's high enough, reach down with your crane to lift her to safety. So you're going to use left, right, moves the crane up and down, retracts and extends it. Press and hold the fire to pick up the item the crane is touching. Release the fire button to release it. Release the item. Uh, all right. All right, so we'll try standard here. See how this game goes. You gotta lower this, try to grab these. I didn't do very good there. There we go. And drop the blocks. She'll climb them. You see the water's uh, rising. You gotta be careful you drop it so you don't crush her. Uh, this is actually a pretty fun little game. And I'll be honest with you, this is the first time I've really played it. Come on. Drop that right there. Ooh. See if I can reach her. Oh, I think I need one more block. Maybe two more. There we go. We got her out. So let's look at uh, Save Mary. Pretty fun game. All right, the last game we're going to look at is uh, Yard's Revenge. This is a game I play uh, quite a bit of. So let's take a quick look at that. This probably is one of my favorite games of all time. And I really didn't play this game uh, until this last year. I never owned it. I owned Missile Command, Asteroids, and everything. I just never bought this game and until I got into a, a tournament to play this game. Um, I had never played it before. Oh. All right, see if I can get him here. And then the last thing I wanted to show you real quick was uh, by hitting the, the multiplayer button, it will search games uh, if you want to play one of your friends online. Um, you can play them online. Usually there's no one on here, so you probably would have to use one of your friends. Uh, I've never... I take that back, I've played one person in combat, which is pretty cool, but typically there's no one online, so you'd have to probably hook up with one of your friends. It's a pretty neat option to have um, on this disc. So my final conclusion to this is, I love this. Um, 
The paddle games are, you know, if it's a paddle game, it, it probably doesn't work as well on these, obviously. And that's the same with the, the Atari flashbacks that have uh, come out on the market also. But these are like only 19 bucks. these games, $19.99. And uh, to get all those games uh, for that price and be able to play them in HD and maybe play someone online, I think it's pretty neat. So what do you think of these games? Uh, let me know in the comments. And until next time, we'll talk to you later.